hey you guys what's up what's up everybody how are you doing pause hold on for one second all right y'all i had to pause for for the one time hold on one second okay can't be can't be getting on here with a chapped lips that's not cute especially during the winter uh -uh. no mail no mail A little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. Okay, like like I said, it's winter time. Okay, winter makes everything dry. Okay, makes your skin dry, make your lips chapped. I can't be getting on here with chapped lips. Nah, as you can see, my hair is pinned back because. The hair is getting in my face. I had to pin it back for a little bit. So, you guys, we're back for another review. I hope you guys enjoyed the Wanda Vision. I was about to say Wanda View. Wanda Vision um, review. I enjoyed doing that. It was something that I had to get off my chest. If you guys hear noise, I have my window open. Yes, sometimes I have my window open during the winter. I don't know. I like to hear outside and stuff like that. It's weird. I know. I'm a weird person. But, um, WandaVision. I hope you guys enjoyed that review and once again I will be adding WandaVision into the lineup. I love the show. I never would have thought that I would be reviewing it. I thought I was just going to enjoy it for my entertainment but the show is amazing. I love it so look out for more reviews on WandaVision. So check that out. Um, But we're here for Good Girls Season 1 Episode 8 Shut Down. Alright y'all know my computer's right here so I gotta look out. Look right here. Um, so, episode opens up with Beth waking up, okay? She's sleeping, but she's hearing this, she's hearing this noise, like, what is this noise? And it's this dog, just like, this dog just slobbering, okay? And so she wakes up and she goes to the kitchen, and she noticed, like, this whole bunch of dog food, this dry dog food is on the floor, all right and so she starts freaking out she started looking in the cupboards cupboards she starts looking in like cereal boxes because y'all remember she put her money in the cereal boxes so she's looking in cereal boxes nothing is there she goes upstairs and she's asking dean where's the money where's the money dean dean was like i don't have the money okay who else would know about the money thinks to herself okay only three people knows about the money she goes to Rio. Rio got into her house and he took the money. Basically what happened is that Eddie, okay, Eddie, the guy that um Rio put in Beth's house, you know, that was bleeding out and everything like that. Eddie, Eddie got picked up, but he doesn't mention any names. He says an associate got picked up and so he's freezing everything. Okay, no, he doesn't want to run business when there's cops, you know, on his butt and on his business. And so Beth is freaking out. She's like, um, we need the money, okay? That was our cut, okay? We need money. Rio was like, I don't care. I'm not about to do 5 to 15 years just because y'all need some money, okay? So business is shut down until further notice. Beth, what makes you think you're so special that, no, it's not going to happen, do you want to get in trouble? Do you want to be associated with counterfeit money? No. Do, are, do you, are you going to be the one that takes that L and do 5 to 15 years? No, you're not going to do it. So Rio is not going to take the 5 to 15 years. That's not going to happen. So he's shutting out everything so he can cover his tracks and his business tracks. So he's doing the right thing. Um. So Beth tells the ladies that Rio shutting down business they don't know how long it's going to be shut down. So basically what's happening now is that they're going to get a reality check. They're going to go back into reality. No more living this high, fast, you know, illegal life right now. No, you got to go back to normal. And they don't want to do that. They're not, they don't want to go back to being quote unquote normal anymore. So what's happening is that Beth, she's being the overly dedicated housewife, you know, doing everything from PTAs, doing these fundraisers and, and everything like that. Annie, she has to work doubles, you know, graveyard shifts and everything like that to try to rack up some money and boomers on her butt. Then you got Ruby, who's working at a donut shop. So it's like, 
they're settling back into the real world. They're getting a reality check. And so a month later after, you know, everything, they end up with $1,900. They need to pay Mary Pat, okay? Because y'all know Mary Pat, they thought it was going to be a one-time deal paying her ten k a month. No, paying her that ten k one month. No, she wants ten k every month. So they're short paying her the month. So it's like, okay, what are they going to do? What's going to happen? And, you know... They need to come up with a way to pay her. So the next day, Ruby and Stan, they're at Sarah's game. And Mary Pat, she's with her oldest son and a baby. And she sees Ruby. Ruby's like, I don't know who that chick is. So Mary Pat takes it upon herself to go up there to where her and Stan is at, try to mingle with them and everything like that. And Mary Pat didn't know that Ruby, that Stan was a police officer. And so, oh my gosh, this is annoying me. Hold on. I just took that out because that was annoying me. Um, Mary Pat didn't know that Stan was a police officer. And so she was like, hmm, I have a question. What would happen if someone stole, let's say, about um, 8000 from my mail? He was like, well, that's considered a federal level. And she was like, okay, well, what if I know who did it? Uh, you know, where, who do I take that up with? He was like, well, I can, you know, help you file a report or whatever. And then Ruby was like, well, I don't think that's necessary. You know, maybe it was a misunderstanding. Mary Pat was like, no, I was very clear on, you know, very clear. So, uh, yeah. So she left and she was there because her son wanted to, um, play soccer so they were checking out the program but i'm like mary pat ooh, you were grinding my gears girl you're grinding my gears so um that day ruby goes to beth's house and she tells her and annie that they need to pay mary pat now okay because something needs to happen we need to get the money fast and he was like, how about we rob like a 7-Eleven? Something, nothing major, just something small. All right, cool, we're on board. But Annie was like, I can't do it because I got a felony drug charge. So it's like, that's not going to look good on my record, okay? But they need to come up with something fast. So while they're talking about situations, possible situations, Ruby gets a text from Stan. She's pissed. Go to the house. We come to find out that Sarah, along with her friends, were shoplifting. Y'all, I am so sorry, but I'm looking at myself. Wow, I just look... Oof. <laughs> What's good, girl? Man, I look pretty. Wow, I look really pretty. <laughs> uh, okay, so, sorry. I, had to, I just had to, because I keep looking at myself and like... Dang, you look good, girl. You look good. I just got a message. Um, I'll answer that when I'm done. Um, <laughs> but she gets a, uh, she finds out that Sarah and a couple of her friends were shoplifting at a mall. So they took the stuff and they were selling it at lunch. Sarah, this is what little Sarah said. Sarah said, okay, this is how it works. Okay. This girl, she, you know, sells the candy. This girl right here, she sells the makeup. And me, I move the fidget spinners. Pause. Girl, what you know about moving? What you know about that term? I'm like, girl, you talking like you a drug dealer. Saying that you moving this way, moving that way. I got to move this right here. Move this product here. Move that product there. Girl, you talking like you from the streets, baby girl. Tone that down real quick. She said, when she said, I move the fidget spinners, I'm like... Pause. What you know about moving, baby girl? What you know about moving? And so the reason why she did it is because the older girls think that she's cool because she's not on the oxygen tank anymore. I'm like, y'all kids are just, why are kids like assholes sometimes? Why? Why? Why are kids? Ass Hold on. Hold on. y'all. One second, y'all. One second. All right, sorry, y'all. I thought my mom was calling me for something. But, um, where's that? Yeah, why are kids, like, assholes? Like, 
<laughs> why y'all making fun of this girl that is on oxygen tank like kids are just so rude sometimes oh my gosh y'all when i have kids my kids are not gonna be rude and disrespectful like some of these kids are because that is so rude but um annie is at Annie is at Saracen's house, okay? Saracen um, and her, they're watching this movie. And then Nancy comes. Um, Nancy's saying that, oh, I gotta go back to work and like open up a new location. So I'm like super busy. Then she also tells Annie, hey, can you like not ruin the couch, you know, with your hair oils? They're really hard to get out. So like, if you can be like very careful, that'd be like really nice. And so Annie gets this idea. And so she brings it to Beth and Ruby's attention. We need to rob Nancy and all three of her locations, okay? We need to rob her from her products, you know, beauty enhancers and injectables and everything like that. And so they come up with the plan and the next day they um, put the plan in motion and each of them go to the day spa of the three locations and they each get like a whole bunch of injectables okay and so ruby and beth they meet at a location okay this is where we're supposed to meet cool beth and ruby are there where's annie annie is trying to get out of the parking garage she has her ticket puts her ticket in uh she can't get out and then there's a car behind her that is like my most that is a fear that I have. That is a fear and that is an embarrassment that I have. If I go to a parking garage where I have to get a ticket and then I go back out and then when I leave, I gotta put the ticket in. What if the ticket doesn't work? And then there's a car behind me. Then there's another car that comes behind me. Bro, that is like the worst fear that I can ever have. That is like my biggest fear and my biggest <laughs> embarrassment. I am so scared. That would be so embarrassing if that happened. So I understand how Annie feels. But the machine isn't working. So Annie's like, oh my gosh, like, what do I do? What do I do? Oh my gosh, what do I do? I have all these injectables. What do I do? So she gets an idea and we get to the car behind her this couple they're like having a disagreement and she pulls up with the fake toy gun and she has the bag over her face telling her that um i need your parking ticket so give me your parking ticket put your head between your legs and count to 20. and so she gets the parking ticket and she um meets ends up meeting beth and ruby at um the location so they're at the location and darren the stock boy that gave um boomer the drugs to set up annie annie he comes and meets with annie and it was a miscommunication he thought that he was getting injectables for heroin not beauty products and so he says that's not what my clientele is about so i'm gonna have to pass so they have all of these injectables and nothing to do with them like you wasted our time annie with this so it's like what are we gonna do so, um, it's a lesson learned. It's a lesson learned. Um, the next day, Ruby takes Sarah to this, like, Beyond Scare Straight type of tactic. Y'all remember that show that came on a &E, Beyond Scare Straight? That show was hilarious. That show was... I'm so mad they took that off the air. That was such a good show. So, um, Beth tells Rio... Okay, so Beth brings the products to Rio. And Rio, he's not for it. He says, look, I'm not going to do this while I'm shut down. I'm not going to be working while the feds are on my butt. And he basically checks Beth. Like, girl, you are not a boss. You do not have what it takes to be a boss. So you need to slow it down, okay? Stop before you get ahead of yourself, okay? So he shuts her down. Um, we get back to the Beyond Scare Straight tactic. And Ruby is more scared than um, Sarah is. So, Dean and Beth have a talk. And Dean asks Beth, look, is there any way that I can help you? Let me help you, okay? I'm here. What do you need me to do? So, Dean gets the beauty products. And he goes to the doctor's office, you know, for his fake cancer. He goes to the doctor's office. And he tells, he asks the doctor, do you have any friends that may need these? Okay. So... We get to Nancy's house. Nancy's over there. Does my room look smoky? 
Let me turn this down. I have my humidifier on. Because like I said, the winter... Turn this a little bit more. The winter, like, it dries my skin out. Like, around here, like, my skin dries up around my nose and around, like, my cheeks area. So I have a humidifier here. So turn this up a little bit more. But yeah. I thought it was getting a little bit foggy in here. Okay, that's good. But yeah, um... We see Nancy. Nancy is crying on the phone. Boo hoo crying. Mascara running, raccoon eyes, and everything. Annie, you know, asked her about the robbery. She was like, Hey, Sadie told me about the robbery. Are you okay? Nancy was like, That is the least of my problems, okay? It's these hormones, and it's like, I'm growing these unicorn babies, and it's like, Oh my gosh, it's emotional. So Annie clicks in her head that Nancy is trying to get pregnant. So she's trying to leave and she's upset at Saracen and because they slept together in um a previous episode and it's like him not telling her that Nancy is taking IVF, it's like, oh my gosh, it's just it's heartbreaking for Annie, you know. Why would you not tell me that your wife is trying to get pregnant after you've had sex with me? Like, wow, that's crazy. Um, so I kind of feel bad for Annie at that. And for any woman who has to go through, like, procedures to try to get pregnant, you know, IVF, surrogacy, you know, I pray that any woman who's dealing with that, I pray that you have a healthy pregnancy. I really do, because IVF, um, it's a hit or miss. You may be lucky, you may not be lucky, um, but to any woman who's trying to get pregnant, I pray that you have the, you know best outcome in having a child i really do so prayers to to any woman who's trying to get pregnant um so beth goes to mary pat's house and she pays her the 10k it's all there but she's trying to keep mary pat on her toes to like just be careful all right and don't try to like poke the bear okay because if you go down if we go down, then you're going down as well as an accessory. So, yeah. <laughs> Watch your back. Watch your back. Ruby is still at the police station. And, you know, still there with, the, with Sarah. She sees this picture. And it's a picture of Eddie. Okay? And so Stan tells him, yeah, he, you know, turned on his associates. So, uh, yeah, we got him. Why did Stan tell her that? Because now she's freaking out. So she then goes to Beth's house and Annie's there. And she tells them, hey, dude that was in your house, Beth, the one that was bleeding out, yeah, he's snitching on the cops. He's in, he's at the police snitching, okay? What are we going to do? And so they make the decision, hey, we need to tell Rio because it's either them or it's him. So Eddie. That's what I'm talking about. So they got to tell him and Rio got to do it. Do what you got to do. So it is what it is. You don't snitch, man. You don't snitch. Snitches get stitches. So Eddie, sweetie, baby, whoever you are, you fine. You got to go, baby. You got to go. You don't be snitching, man. You don't snitch. All right. You take that L, but you don't snitch on, you don't snitch on the curl. But y'all, that was episode eight of Good Girls. And so... This week, you will be getting WandaVision comes on Friday. So that review will be up Saturday. So WandaVision and then two Animal Kingdom reviews. Okay, episode seven and episode eight of Animal Kingdom will be up whenever. So be on the lookout for these videos. And once again, you guys, um, thank you to everyone who watches my videos. You know, for me... I don't do this for view count or subscriber count. Well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys taking taking time out of your day to watch my videos. Um, I do this just to have fun. I like watching television and giving my takes on it, giving my opinions on it. Um, I just love doing this. It really, um, I just get on here and I just, say what I gotta say and 
I just love it. So thank you to everybody who watches. Thank you for people who subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. I'm not begging for... Uh, I'm not doing that. I'm not begging for subscriptions, you know, subscribers. I'm not begging for view counts. I'm not doing that. You know, this is just a girl on her phone. That's it. I don't have the fancy cameras and the fancy... I got a Chromebook, so it's like I can't edit the videos. <laughs> okay um but this is just a girl and her phone whipping her phone out on her computer with her notes and just giving you guys her opinions and recapping the episode but you know i love doing this it's really really fun i'll just continue to do it you know just having fun so thank you guys once again thank you guys um love you and i will see you guys next time peace bye